Rob Seco, Future Farm. Today's innovations, tomorrow's solutions. Well, Todd, you know, we've emphasized a lot about the importance of having a strong, vigorous, uniform stand in corn and what the importance of that may be. But really, what I want to talk to you about today is, can you show us that what that means and then ultimately what it results in? Yeah, you bet. So our objective when we plant corn should be to get every plant to look like every other plant. Mm -hmm. It's imperative. Uniformity plant to plant, that consistency plant to plant makes a difference. Not just the seed to seedling ratio. You put in 35,000 seeds, you want 35,000 to come up, which rarely happens. But overall, not just getting the establishment, it's getting that uniformity from plant to plant to plant. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of factors, a lot of parameters that play into that. Mm -hmm. But as we've talked about, the stimulation and the support and the protection of our seedlings is, is what we want to show today. So what we've done out here, and this is one one thousandth of an acre in 30 mm -hmm. inch rows, so it's 17 and a half feet. And what we've done is the moment they start to spike, we'll come out and we'll place a flag. We'll come back 24 hours later, and then we'll place a different colored flag for the next ones that have spiked, mm -hmm. and until we've exhausted all of the emergence. So what does that mean on that, that day four emergence? You know, day four versus day two versus day one. You know, what are we looking at from yield differences on plant to plant? Good point. Day one to day three, so two day separation, is generally about 100 kernels per ear mm -hmm. on the later planted or the later emerged plant. 100 kernels on an ear that puts on 600, 680, 700 kernels. Day one to day four emergence, which we have that spread right here, mm -hmm. is 210 to 220 kernels on an ear that puts on about 700 kernels. So the, the, the negative impact is pretty significant. Todd, you came out here over the last several days and you've put out these flags. Can you tell us a little bit about what you did and what you're seeing? Yeah, so again, day one you come out with a specific color flag. And in this case, we came out with the orange or, or pink color and we flagged those that were first spiking and emerged. Then we come out day two, which is the blue, and whichever the next plants are up, you just keep putting flags in. Yellow are day three, mm -hmm. and the white are, are day four. But as you look at day one, you have a, you have a bigger plant than day two. Mm -hmm. Day two doesn't have a collar on it, but day one has the, has the first collar set. So true V1, day two is at VE, V mm -hmm. emergence. Then you come out here to day three, and this is continuous corn, which throws another wrinkle in emergence, right? It's a lot of obstacles to get out of the ground. So, so no collar, mm -hmm. and is a little bit behind day two, but they are quite similar. And then if you can see day four in the white flag, the coleoptile sheath has opened up, and so that first rounded tip leaf is, is already open. Mm -hmm. uh, but he may have come up late last night to have already blown that apart. But you can see no leaf exposed, so collar exposed, no collar, no collar, and coleoptile sheath has just erupted. Mm -hmm. now, Todd, you're looking at almost a three inch difference between this uh, plant here that just spiked last night mm -hmm. to the, the day one plant. And, I mean, that's gonna continue through a lot of the season, right? You know, interesting enough, so as corn gets up here to V4 and V5, mm -hmm. This plant will be significantly farther ahead than this plant. Mm -hmm. So I'm the oldest of my brothers, and so it's like me being the first to merge. I'm the most vigorous, the most successful, and they're just going to have to catch up, but they probably won't, right? Even, even, though, even though you have the same two parents. Exactly. You're the smartest and the best looking. I, I, I didn't say it. You did. 